Hello and welcome to another edition of FBL News. I'm your host, Brian, and if you hate news, this is the place for you. We got no politics, we're not being serious. We got puns and silliness. That's our situation here. Because we're a 4G network, okay? We got goofing, we got grubbing, we got gaming, and we, we got growing, that's our 4G. We will cover today's national food holiday. As for the games, at the end we will be doing the random trivia generator. If I get it right, I'm gonna challenge you, the viewer, to do something. And if I get it wrong, I know, wait for it. I'm gonna learn how to twerk live on stream. That's right, it was the challenge from a previous episode, but I got the question right. So the challenge is back. So you might see me learn how to twerk right here, right now, shaking my booty back there. So stay tuned. Uh, we have a Japanese man that went out for drinks after work and he lost a flash drive that had all of the data on users, or, or, or residents, I should say, in the city. The police are on it. They are trying to help retrieve the data. Uh, they are going around asking people if they have seen a two-inch Pikachu, because it was a novelty USB drive, of course. Uh, unfortunately, uh, when they've questioned men, this has prompted them to show their penis. I don't know if y'all knew this, but the biggest streamer on YouTube was actually banned. Not Ludwig, not Valky Ray, the biggest YouTube streamer, that's right, Lo-Fi Girl. Lo-Fi Girl was banned on YouTube. It ended up being a fake copyright claim, uh, so they did get reinstated, but unfortunately it stopped an unbelievable streak. Uh, before the ban, uh, YouTube, uh, excuse me, Lo-Fi Girl, before the ban, had 668 million views and had streamed for over 20,000 hours straight. That's right, two and a half years straight being live. The grind is real. And the timing of the band was really awkward uh, because Lo-Fi Girl was actually about to finish writing her book and we've all been patiently waiting to see and read what she's been writing. It's been up two and a half years. We wanna know, you know? Let's get let's get a good old fashioned world star brawl recorded on the phone. That's right. A threesome caused a uh, brawl of 60 people to start fighting each other on a carnival cruise. Pretty epic stuff. Uh, currently, carnival's slogan is fun for all, all for fun. But that evening, it was more fay for all, all in fay. So, because she was she was getting her freak on. Uh, unfortunately though, the brawl did end up canceling the festivities for that night and uh, all of the guests on the ship were excited for an addition of Deal or No Deal because they do game shows on the cruise. Uh, but luckily they did get an episode of Family Feud instead. So that was very good. They at least got some kind of uh, show with their dinner. And Carnival is gonna be taking precautions uh, for future cruises by ensuring that uh, any threesomes turn into foursomes. Don't leave uh, partners out of the fun, you know? That's that's no good. You gotta get everybody involved. Nobody wants to go on a cruise and not do anything, you know what I'm saying? Did you know that y'all could buy your own dinosaur right now? That's right. There is a dinosaur skeleton, a close relative of the T-Rex that is being auctioned later this month at a Soft Spies uh, auction house in New York City. It measures 10 feet tall and 22 feet long, uh, but unfortunately it isn't big enough to uh, fill the emptiness in your heart. That's, that, that is sad. You know, art critics have weighed in on the situation uh, as well as, you know, anthropologists and stuff like that. And they all say that the skeleton actually would have sold for way more money, uh, but unfortunately, Jeffrey Epstein has died. Um, you know, it would have been a great piece in his fiore to lure more children into his ring of evilness, but, you know, I guess kind of a sad situation for the current owner of the dinosaur, but hey, at least you'll have fetch eight mil for your, for your dino bones. That ain't bad, that ain't bad. You could have won a free Corvette if you bought Chevy's NFT. That's right. Chevy uh, went into the foyer of crypto and were selling their first NFT. The winner of said NFT would have gotten a free Corvette Z06, except no one actually bid on the NFT, so no one got the free car. Um, it kind of makes some sense though. I mean, getting a free Corvette would be cool if you didn't have to own an NFT, am I right? You know, I mean, that would be like take, that would be like if you got a free trip to Miami, but only if you gained a hundred pounds. It's like, yo, I'm not, there's some, there's some, fine looking folks at that beach. I ain't, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that's a good deal. You know what I mean? The, the whole plan behind the promotion 
was that the NFT was supposed to work like a proof of purchase because this um, this color was supposed to be unique to this promotion and then the, the NFT would be like, oh, I have the real, you know, mint green Z06. Uh, but, you know, hey, I'm from the generation where receipts are cringe. I, 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 I'm done shopping at CVS, you know what I mean? I, I, I could literally build an entire house out of their CV, uh, CVS receipts. It's ridiculous. So, you know, when the, when I hear NFT and it's a receipt, I'm doubly out, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but to Chevy's credit, in keeping with tradition, uh, if there was a winning bidder on the NFT, uh, they were going to scam them. So you would have gotten no car and lost all the money you spent on the NFT in true crypto fashion. So hey, at least uh, good on Chevy for doing the research on uh, how crypto works. Did you know that today is National Tequila Day? Hell yeah. Raise a glass if you got it. And uh, I got some fun facts for you about tequila. There's not just one tequila. There's actually several types and uh, they are organized in five classes. There's five classes of tequila. There's Blanca, Blanco or silver, uh, Hoven or gold, blue collar workers, seniors on spring break, and finally coach flying to Cancun. Those are the five classes of tequila drinks. So there you have it. Fun fact, tequila actually used to be medicine. That's right, doctors used to prescribe tequila during the 1918 Spanish flu. Uh, but no one needed a prescription to drink in 2020. So at least doctors uh, didn't have to work that hard during that year. They didn't have to put out that prescription. So good for them. All right, so it is time for our random trivia question. That is right, that is right. I have to answer this question or else I have to learn how to twerk right here, right now on stream in this video. And uh, if I get it right, I'm gonna challenge you, the viewer, to do something. So let's see what we got here. It's gotta be an arc, right? It's like a curve, circle, like a, like a, like, you know, like a bridge almost, like an arch. I'm gonna go with arc, I'm gonna go with arc. Let's go, ooh, ah, oh, man. I might not be a geo guesser, but I'm a geometry all writer. Let's go, let's go, okay. So I got the question right there. So that means I have a challenge for you viewers, but uh, don't you worry, uh, that twerk challenge will still be on the docket for a while. Uh, so you'll have to catch me live on Twitch to see if I actually do the twerking when we record these videos or uh, stay tuned for more episodes of FBL News to see when I actually learn to twerk. And if you have a suggestion for what a challenge should be in the future, drop it in the comments. Let me know, hit it in the chat. It might even make the video. And uh, I'd love to hear it. I'd love to hear it because uh, we're gonna be doing a lot of these. I will eventually twerk. I'm not that good at trivia. All right, I got the question right, chat. So this is the challenge I have for all of you. What are you gonna have to do? teaser at the end so hopefully you enjoy that and don't forget to subscribe it looks like you wrote fartasia <laughs> it kind of does <laughs> it kind of does